What is up guys, welcome back to another amazing video on my channel. If you're new, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, sharing, liking, commenting, all the good things on YouTube. And today is a Mr. Beast on a budget series. You guys already probably saw, I am going to be cooking up the cheapest steaks. So uh, I think we're going to head over to the Dollar General right now and try to find a steak there because I'm pretty sure they had a steak there that was like a dollar. And you don't want to buy a dollar steak. Like, Do you want to buy a dollar steak, right? Okay, that's what I thought. Catch you guys in a bit. So we are actually making this video Mr. Beast on a budget because I forgot my camera, so I'm using my phone right now. I am so disappointed because I went to um, the Dollar General to see if they had a steak there. And the last time they did, they had a steak there. It was like $1.50. And I wanted to get that so bad because that's like the cheapest steak you can ever find. So I actually went to Publix and I actually picked up one for like $4 and something cents. I got the steak right here. We are going to go uh, cook it up right now and uh, see how it tastes, guys. And we are back. Welcome back. So uh, as you guys saw in my last clip, I went to the... Let me explain it a little clearer. So I went to the Dollar General. Kind of checked out to see if they had any steaks there, and they did. There was a sign that said $1.50 for a ribeye. It's like 3.5 ounces or something like that. They didn't have it, so I was kind of disappointed because I really, really wanted that cheap steak. So I went to Publix, and I picked up an even not-so-cheap steak. It is a eye round steak, and this one was about like $4.80. And like 80 cents. So I guess that's pretty cheap to a $10,000 steak, I guess. $10,000, $4.00. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. So we're gonna cook this bad boy up on the grill, but you guys already know, first, I got to change into my wardrobe. So three, two, one. Whoa. Guys, who remembers this outfit? Who remembers the chef outfit, guys? Let's cook these steaks up. Um, how do you guys like your steak? Medium rare, medium rare. I'm gonna be cooking up for you guys today. So uh, let's, let's, let's get started. How are we doing this evening, ma'am? Welcome to the budget restaurant. Uh, can I get you started with anything to drink? Uh, well, first, can I get some flowers that are alive? Oh, I'm so sorry. This is the budget restaurant, so we're kind of on a tight budget with our flowers. I can move them out of the way for you. Can I take a look at your finest steak? The finest steak? Case? Of course. Can I talk to your chef? Of course, of course. I will get you some water, and he will be right out for awesome. you, okay? thank you. How are you doing today, miss? Oh, uh... Weren't you just my server? I do not recall. My name is Spaghettini. My server's name is Chase. We, he is the only server that we have here. Okay. We are on a budget, remember? Please tell me about your finest steak. So, our finest steak is $4.89. <laughs> um, it came from Publix, actually. Is that okay? Is that too much for your price? I'll take it. You'll take it. Wow. You are the first customer to actually get the the, 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 the steak today. I am so so happy Thank to cook you. this steak. How would you like it cooked? Thank you. Um, medium rare. Okay, medium rare. I am going to go cook your steak now. <laughs> you just sit here and enjoy the lovely flowers we have for you. Thank you. I don't want the flowers. Yes, you want the flowers. I don't want the flowers. Yes, you do want the, flower. want the flowers. Okay, we'll leave them right there. <laughs> I am going to go cook the steak now. Whoa, Jesus Christ! I am very, very new at this. <laughs> I thought I was going to blow up my restaurant. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to warm up this pan. We need to get this pan very, very hot. And we are going to get some oil for this pan, just so we can start cooking the steak. Okay, we have some vegetable oil. I think that's what we need to put in there. I do not know. Oh, that, that seems like a lot. Okay, we will put that much in there. We are going to put this over to the side. And we are going to get this... Oh, we are going to get this all over the pan, just so the steak will not stick. And we are going to let that heat up and we will be back to you when I put the steak on the pan. Now we put the steak on the pan. And oh my god, that looks not so good. Oh my goodness, I do not know what I'm doing. I think there is too much oil in the pan. We just need to turn this down. Turn this down at low heat. Low heat and let this simmer. And we are going to get a beautiful steak. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we are, do not get too close. Beautiful steak. Mwah. We are now going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to this side and then when we flip it over we will add some salt and pepper to the other side. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of pepper. Just to get that, you know, that nice rich flavor. 
and then we are going to add salt. I like to pour the salt in my hand first, just so I can see the salt. And then just a nice little couple of pinches over the top of the steak, just like this. And then I always take a little bit of salt and throw it over the shelter. Okay, let's flip it now. Let's flip it now. <laughs> oh, this snake. This looks like a juicy steak. We're going to let it, let this cook real fast. I am a professional chef. I do know what I'm doing. So this steak will turn out marvelous. Just marvelous. This will actually turn out better than that $10,000 steak that Mr. Beast had. I will guarantee you. Oh my God. This does not look like a steak. This looks like a pork chop. This says eye round steak. This does not look like a steak. Oh, that's because we are pan searing it. We are not grilling it. That is probably why. So what I like to do is I like to take this and stick it right into the steak just so I can see the exact temperature that I am trying to get. Do not let it touch the pan because then you are not trying to read the pan. You are trying to read the steak. Wow, we are getting up there. It looks like it is way past 165. What we are going to do is we are going to take this steak and we are going to sit it here. And what you need to do with your steak is you need to let it rest. I know the customer is waiting. But good food takes time. Is we are going to fillet the steak just like this. Spread that out just like this. Just, just very beautiful like this. And we are going to take a little bit of salt and just drop it on there just like this. Okay, voila. Okay, we are bringing this out to the customer now. I always bring the, the nice cheap steaks out to the customer because this is a very nice steak and we want the customer to get the fullest quality. And here we are, miss. This is your steak. Well, it's about time. And I'm going to feed this to you because this is a very, very nice steak. So sit back, just, just chill, just relax, just a little bit. And we are going to lay this on you, just like this. It's a little bit dirty. I wiped my hands <laughs> on this earlier when I was cooking, but don't worry. <clears throat> and now we are just going to pick the steak up and just That put... is not medium rare. I am so sorry, miss. Did you not want it well done? <laughs> no. Oh, that's the only way I know how to cook a steak. Okay. So we are going to feed this to you now. Is it very nice? It's very tough. Yes, it is. It's a very nice steak, right? Very nice. Are you done chewing? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> What is, what is the matter? Is it okay? Do you need to spit it out? Is it too much for you to handle? It's so good, it's just too much for you to handle. I know, a lot of people spit it out, and I just... I think it's perfect. Try it. I'm going to use your silverware, okay? It's like a piece of gum in my mouth. I am still we... chewing it because I cannot swallow it. Can I, can I try this? Yes, you may try this. You may give the cameraman a little bite of this. Okay, okay. Right, right here, right here. Ow, Jesus Christ, you stabbed me! Oh, Spaghettini will never be on the cook again! No! I will do it. Oh my God. All right, here we are. There you, there you are, take that stick. Very good, isn't it? <laughs> very it's good. Awesome. Are you all done with this, miss? I'm finished. Okay, thank you very much. I will take this back to the thing. Thank you. And that is a wrap on the video. Hope you guys enjoyed Mr. Beast on a budget. Um, we threw that skit in there. Alex, jump in here real fast. Jump in, Alex. Okay, Alex. Thank you so much for being a part of that skit. You're very welcome. Um, it was a good steak, wasn't it? No. No. It was not good. <laughs> I don't recommend on getting a $4 steak. That's how much that it was. That was honestly, it was very, very chewy, and... It could have been how uh, Chef Spaghettini cooked it a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he could... did kind of kill it on the, you know. Yeah, he cooked it way yeah. too long. But that is going to be the wrap on this video. I will leave her Instagram, Snapchat right here. Boom, right there. You guys can go follow her if you want. All right, guys, and also a huge shout out to Brian who filmed my videos. Thank you so much for that. So his socials are right here. Thank you very much. And we will see you when... Next time. Next time. <laughs> Peace.